Hey guys, so welcome back to another video. My name is Proof Silko. Thank you so much for joining. I have a really short tutorial for you guys regarding my PUBG settings and the back button attachment, what I use for PUBG as well. So I'm gonna talk about the back button first. But before we start guys, I heard that if I mentioned at the beginning of the video that you guys should subscribe if you're new here, you're actually more likely to subscribe. So guys, hit the subscribe button if you're new here. And with that being said guys, let's talk about the back button. As you can see, I'm using the circle and the X on the back buttons. And this is just for one reason. Uh, you have to aim with the right stick but you have to push those buttons with the right stick as well. So, you know, I just put it on the back and I can keep using a, you know, X and circle buttons, but in the meantime, I can still aim at my targets. And actually, uh, I learned to drop shot from Warzone, but I implemented that into PUBG as well, and it works wonders. No one would expect you. So if you hit the ground while you're shooting your enemy, they can track you and it's really OP. So I recommend you guys to try it hold circle and you will hit the ground fast and you can still shoot so that's it that's a drop shot give it a try and of course uh, with the x i can still jump around i can be a hard target to hit and i can still aim in the meantime with my right thumb so yeah go ahead and buy a back button guys i know it's hard to get one but i heard that best buy is stocking up again so i think just a few more days or weeks maybe We'll have the back button again on the shafts of the stores worldwide. So yeah, <laughs> check your closest store, guys. You might be surprised. All right, so moving on to the settings, guys. Let's switch over to the license and you will see my settings for PUBG. Actually, let me move my camera a little bit. So guys, these are my settings. Uh, but before I go into details, let me mention that I only changed a few things, some of the things are still the same actually majority of my settings are still the same but i changed a few things which you know worth mentioning so let's go through the settings one by one and i will talk you through the details so control button preset is still type b uh right and left sticks that zone are both on eight and vibration is disabled if you want to hit precision shots just disable the vibration uh, forward running sensitivity is on 10 and the movement sensitivity is also on 10 uh, vertical multiplier is on 86 and the general senses together with the vehicle driver senses are both on 10 and aim acceleration is enabled and set to 4 so the over the shoulder aiming senses are on 10 the 1 2 times and 3 times scopes are on 10 as well uh, four times six times and eight times scopes are on eight and the 15 times scope is still on 20 so yeah these are the changes i made i'm quite fast now i play warzone as well and i wanted to adjust my pubg settings accordingly so i don't have to readjust when i switch between games so moving on to gameplay language is english cross platform play is enabled kill feed is graphic it's the best way to check your surrounding what's going on around you colorblind mode is normal i use custom crosshair color and if you follow these values you will have the red crosshair which sticks out from the environment the most in my opinion button hints are disabled network bug statistics enabled compass background enabled uh, loot flash effect pulls and functionalities auto replace weapon skin enabled default firing mode for handguns single for smgs full auto and the secondary default firing mode for smgs is on burst the default firing mode for ars is on full auto the secondary firing mode for ars is on single so if i pick up an m16 or a mutant i can use it as a budget dmr the default firing mode for dmrs is on single TPP aim camera position is on the latest peak shoulder. All right, so auto reload enabled, auto equip attachments enabled, auto equip scopes is set to sights only, and auto replace attachments enabled, a radio message enabled, and I use the button preset option one. Quick ping disabled, and the continuous item use is set to bandages only. And that camera is enabled. You can learn a lot if you check who killed you and how he killed you and you can learn from your mistakes and improve. So master audio is enabled, set to 100. Gameplay audio is enabled as well, set to 100 as well. UI 
enabled set to 100 and music is disabled all right so graphics field of view 96 best option for me in first person game mode and if i play third person but switch to first person mode uh, brightness is set to 50 and universal brightness for all maps are enabled so the lights around me actually help a lot uh, i can see uh, my monitor pretty cool i can spot my enemies so i just you know set it to universal i enabled universal brightness so guys these are my settings i hope you found this video useful it was a very really short one i just wanted to show you my updated settings as i said some of these things in my settings are still the same but i changed quite a few things so i wanted to give you the updated version of my settings so this is it guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did smash the like button if you didn't of course you can leave a dislike subscribe if you're new here and i see you on the next one ciao I don't know what you say about our private conversations But it's got them hating Thanks to all the rumors you be claiming It's cool, I'm done with you So they can throw you a celebration You gon' hate it when you see me with somebody living better I'm trying to tell you that me just doing me gon' have